I have a ton of stuff that I really want to show you in this video. This is very different to the videos that you're used to. I'm usually hiding behind a microphone and some fancy edits, but in this video, I wanted to try something very different and to unbox a number of items that I've just been piling up for the past few months with me continuously putting off this unboxing video to the point where the pile has grown way too large and I just want to get this unboxing done because among the stuff that I'm going to show you today is one of the most expensive anime and manga products that I've ever purchased. And yes, it's a piece of bleach merchandise. So I really cannot wait to show it to you all. So without further delay, let's get on with this unboxing video. Over the years that I've been purchasing anime and manga goods, I've bought several figures and they're usually these like PVC type figures. They're really high quality and I'm really particular with figures. I usually tend to only get figures of my favorite character in a specific pose that I really like. So it's going to come as no surprise that I have a lot of Goku figures, but since the last three to four years, I've been known as a bleach guy. So it's only right that I have a bleach figure in my collection. Now, all of the official figures of bleach that are released by the various different companies like Bandai just don't really capture the quality that I'm looking for. I mean, Ichigo always has a very derpy face and they don't quite ever get his hair right. That is until I came across this thing called resin figures. Now, resin figures are a lot higher in quality because of this. They do come with a hefty price tag. But honestly, when I show you this figure, it's going to speak for itself. The quality of the figure is insane. And in terms of the paintwork, it's unmatched and the sculpting is unreal. I'm so proud to say that I finally have a figure from Bleach that actually looks like it's been pulled straight out of the manga or the anime. Again, this is hard to say because look at the stuff that we've been getting for Bleach. Obviously, no offense to anyone who likes this stuff is personally just not for me. When it comes to figures, I have to really like the series as well as the character in order for me to purchase it. Resin figures are really expensive and they come in limited numbers and the one that I have here is one of 288 that were created. So here is the figure by Flyleaf Studio. I've been sitting on this box for a good year just putting off doing an unboxing video. I actually ordered this in October of 2022. It came a year ago and it's just been sat there collecting dust. Finally I'm gonna be unboxing this. So it's a box within a box and again it has the Flyleaf Studio logo on the top of the box. Okay, so it's packaged in this really cool Ichigo Kurosaki box with Bleach Thousand Year Blood War on the bottom. Wow, I really like this. Kurosaki Ichigo Bleach Thousand Year Blood War. This looks really high quality. I had bought this right before Core 1 of the Thousand Year Blood War arc had started to air. I have the perfect spot for this figure that I want to put just over there. So if I make future on-camera videos, this, this figure is going to be in the background of all of them. So yeah, the box, I'm really impressed. It looks, yeah, it looks really cool. Now, I've seen a lot of resin figure unboxing videos online and they come in a lot of pieces which are easy to break and they have fragile points which can crack and these items are airmailed out from Indonesia or Thailand, I'm not sure. So they are created in limited quantities. Like I said, this is one of 288. So it's packaged in this styrofoam. Mine has the number 223 written on it. Let's have a look at the first panel. Okay, so this is the base of the figure here. Ichigo substitute Shinigami badge. You've got Ichigo Zanpakuto belt here. So this is really cool. A little bonus item that comes with it. Yeah, so that's Ichigo Kurosaki with the uh, Substitute Shinigami badge and it should have the number on the back there. It says 223 out of 288. You've got the stand for the figure here. It just looks so high quality, honestly. I don't even want to get it out of the box. It just looks that good. So there you go. That's the Substitute Shinigami badge and the uh, footholds for where the figure is going to be standing on. Oh, wow. Okay, have a look at the back of the stand there. That looks amazing. It has some sort of an authenticity sticker there as well. Uh, yeah, honestly, I'm so happy with this because uh, this form of Ichigo, the Fullbring Shikai form, is my favorite form of Ichigo. Hence why my profile picture is modeled after the form. Then you've got Ichigo's Zanpakuto Zangetsu, the Fullbring Shikai Zanpakuto. Uh, it is really big and chunky. It looks amazing. That's the first kind of like styrofoam layer done. Okay, then we have the main stuff here. Yeah, it's all broken up into pieces you've got to put together. Let's start with the arms that you get. So you've got several arms that come with the figure. So there's this one here that is usually stationary, stay still. And then you've got two interchangeable arms. You can either have Ichigo holding it over his shoulder with this arm or him cleanly holding the Zanbakdo with his arm down. 
So yeah, these two are the interchangeable arms. They have some sort of a magnet in here that clicks onto the shoulders of the figure, but I'll show you that when we get to it. Uh, it also comes with two faces. Everything is really well packaged in this plastic and they have styrofoam protecting it so that it doesn't break or crack in shipping. So that's Ichigo's standard face there. And you've got another one here. This is the one that I really like because it's similar to the other one, but it's got a bit of blood running down the side of his face to show some battle damage there. Honestly, there's a lot of blood on Ichigo's face during the Thousand Year Blood War arc so it's very on theme. There is honestly a lot of quality control going on. Uh, these figures look amazing. It's hard to tell on this camera, but I'll show you some pictures that I've taken after the fact. Just the sculpt of the face just looks really amazing. I've not seen any official figure look this good. And one other thing I wanted to say about resin figures is that these figures are unofficial, so they are not licensed. Uh, they're created from the support of people who pre-order them. Uh, that's why uh, on the box it said, thank you for your support, because it has to reach a minimum quota of pre-orders for them to start production of these figures, which is one of the reasons why it takes like six months to a year for you to actually get this item from the point of order. So it was a long time coming and I'm really excited that it's finally here. Yeah, this is strange. So you've got this like stand where you can put the extra head of Ichigo, which you're not using. So I guess we'll put the battle damage Ichigo go on this here. So this is a nice little accessory to have with the figure, the smallest piece that you're going to be getting here, and it's the chain of Ichigo Zanpakuto. Very easy to get lost, but yeah, I'm going to be putting this straight onto the Zanpakuto. Got a magnet inside it and it just clicks on there. And there you have it, Ichigo's full bring Shikai Zanpakuto is ready. That looks really cool. I love the chain as well, how it's broken up there. And I think that's everything. Now we're on to the final piece. Uh, which is the body of Ichigo. I'm really nervous getting this out. Hopefully there are no pieces broken. Uh, let's have a look. So that's the legs, torso, and chest of Ichigo there. It all comes as one piece. And yeah, let's start assembling the pieces together. So you've got Ichigo's head and it just snaps on with a magnet. Space there for his arms. So let's put on the standard arm here. So that arm is going to be stationary. It's going to stay still. And then you've got these two interchangeable arms here. So let's have a look at the arm that I'm not going to be using first. So it's the one with Ichigo's Zanpakuto over his shoulder. I think you have to take the chain off first and then feed the Zanpakuto into his hand. Put the chain back on. So yeah, there you go. That's how he looks like. Uh, let me just put the belt on as well. So yeah, I'm going to have to take that arm off. Wow, that looks amazing. <laughs> Honestly, it looks so cool. Yeah, what do you guys think? Is this like worth the purchase? Uh, this resin figure, it was like anywhere from $250 to $300. There's no official figure that looks this good. I'll show you some pictures that I've taken following the recording of this video because the quality doesn't really look good on the camera that I'm recording this on. Let's get him onto the stand as well. It looks absolutely amazing. I'm so glad that I waited to get this. Better than what I had imagined. So just look at the attention to detail. From the Substitute Shinigami badge stand, the detail on his socks and sandals, with the full bring markings and tattoos on his wrist and on his hand, and of course, just the sculpt and everything on his face looks phenomenal. I'm really happy with this. I'll show you how this looks with the other arm as well. That's the arm that I'm predominantly going to be using. I just like the pose more, and it's the pose that really made me want to get this figure. So there you go. This is the pose that I'm going to be keeping Ichigo in and it's going to be right there, right next to the Bleach Art Exhibition poster. Honestly, I'm so impressed with this. It just looks amazing. Let me know in the comments what you guys think of this Ichigo resin figure. So this figure is going to be there in all of my videos. With my channel being predominantly focused on Bleach, I wanted a statement piece or a statement figure in the background of my videos and the perfect spot for it's right there behind me. And it's only right that my first on-camera video is unboxing this amazing resin statue. So next up, I've got a few more figures that I've just purchased, which I'm going to be unboxing. Now, these figures are very special to me. I don't want to ruin the surprise of what's inside here, so let's get it opened. So inside the box are two figures that I've wanted for a really long time. Now these are called Ichiban Kuji Dragon Ball figures. They're really high quality figures that you can win by doing a raffle in Japanese convenience stores. And yeah, I'm excited to have Android 17 and 18 to my collection. While I make a lot of Bleach videos, my favorite series of all time is definitely Dragon Ball. You can see in my collection, I've got two dedicated shelves just for Dragon Ball. I bought the series, I don't know how many times on DVD and then on Blu-ray. I have several copies of the manga as well as the color editions of the manga. If you thought I liked Bleach, then you have no idea how obsessed I am with Dragon Ball. So there you go. That's Android 17 and 18. Now these two figures are modeled after their iconic first appearance when they are first activated by Dr. Jiro. And yeah, honestly, they look so cool just boxed like this. Let's get them out and have a look. So this is a part of the Master Lee's Dragon Ball figure collection. Um, if you're going to get any Dragon Ball figures, I highly recommend getting Master Lee's. 
they are among the best quality and they are usually modeled after scenes from the manga. They have like a bit of a nostalgic touch to them, which honestly is a huge weakness for me. Dragon Ball has a lot of sentimental value for me and seeing iconic moments like this recreated in figure form, yeah, it's hard to resist not buying stuff like this. So these two are the first ever Master Beast Dragon Ball figures that I've purchased. I was a bit worried whether if these were genuine because they're supposed to have a toy animation sticker on there, but for some reason, these don't come with it. But they look genuine to me. So that's Android 18 there. There's no assembling with this. This is again, I think another PVC figure, uh, very different to the Ichigo figure that I just unboxed. So there's Android 18. She looks on model. She looks like she's pulled exactly out of the manga. There's the red ribbon symbol on the back of her jacket. And yeah, I really like this figure. So it also comes with this stand just to help them to stand upright and not fall over. And now let's have a look at Android 17. Yeah, my heart did kind of drop a little bit after not seeing the Toei animation sticker, but from the look of these figures, they are definitely official. Bootleg figures, you can tell. They have these really derpy faces and awkward proportions, and they look nothing like these figures here. These look absolutely amazing. Again, I'm really happy with this purchase. Android 17 and 18 have always had this really cool 90s aesthetic to them. I love Toriyama's character designs, everything from the point where Trunks arrives and defeats Mecha Freezer, all the way up until Gohan defeating Perfect Cell is probably my favorite piece of fiction that's ever been created and it's definitely my favorite saga of Dragon Ball. The entirety of the Android and Cell saga portion of the story is just phenomenal. I'm really happy to have these two figures and yeah they're going to be going right next to Ichigo there behind me. So now we're moving on to some games that I've imported from Japan over the last few months. So we're starting off with this PlayStation 2 game called Battle Stadium Don. Now this was the original jump crossover game on consoles. Uh, it features Dragon Ball, One Piece and Naruto. Uh, it's a Super Smash Bros-esque game. Really fun to play. I just had to have a copy of this and then we We've got some Dragon Ball games that I bought for the PS2, but these are the Japanese versions of the games. I bought these exclusively for the box art covers because I love the artist who has drawn the covers for these. So the artist in question is a Japanese animator and character designer for Dragon Ball called Katsuyoshi Nakatsuru, and he draws some of the best Dragon Ball artwork in my opinion. He worked on the Dragon Ball Z anime as an animator and was then a character designer for a bit of Dragon Ball Z and even Dragon Ball GT. In the 2000s, he revamped his Dragon Ball art style to give it this shiny new look and it was really refreshing to see Dragon Ball enter this new era with Nakatsuru's amazing art style. Again, I love this. This is the cover for Budokai 1 for Japan and my favorite all-time piece of artwork that Nakatsuru has ever drawn is the cover for Budokai 2 in Japan. I just love the earth in the background, then the nonsensical selection of characters and last but not least you've got the cover for Budokai 3 and last but not least you've got the Japanese version of Budokai 3 again drawn by Nakatsuru who does some of the best Dragon Ball artwork and promotional artwork. Nakatsuru features heavily in this Dragon Ball art book called The Golden Warrior and some of his signature Dragon Ball artworks are included here of Super Saiyan 4 Goku. Again, he makes Dragon Ball just look so refreshed and new and yeah, honestly, I wish that there was more appreciation online for Nakatsuru. He's an amazing artist. Okay, enough gushing about Dragon Ball. Let's get back onto topic. I've got another Bleach item here that I want to show you and it's the first ever Bleach game released on PS2 called Bleach Selected Soul. Now, I just bought this for the sake of having it. I have reviewed this game on my video where I play every single Bleach PS2 game. So if you want to see what this game is all about, then check out that video. Again, it's just a nice piece of history to add to the collection. The first ever Bleach console game. So now I've got the final thing that I want to show all of you. This is really special in my opinion, and it's a very important part of the Bleach history. And these are the various different weekly Shonen Jump magazines, which feature Bleach in some way, shape or form on the cover, or just special like this one here, which features the Bleach one-shot chapter, No Breathes From Hell. When it was released, I just had to order this, and it's been sealed ever since, and I just want to keep it as a piece of important Bleach memorabilia. It's a a very special chapter to me. It was the first ever chapter that's been released while I've been making videos on this channel. Unfortunately, I didn't really make chapter reviews back when the chapters were releasing up until 2016. So yeah, this edition of Shonen Jump is a special part of my collection. Following this, I have other editions of Weekly Shonen Jump where Bleach features predominantly on the cover of the magazine. And this one here is from November 2010 and it's the first chapter of the Fullbring arc. And you see Ichigo on the cover with the substitute Shinigami badge and Ginjo behind him. Now with Bleach being on the cover of the magazine, it means that when you you turn over the page, Bleach is the first series that is published within the magazine. You've got a full coloured version of the first page of the chapter, along with a full manga spread of Ichigo there, before of course the chapter begins. Now this is honestly just a special piece of history. It gives you a feel for what Japanese fans were experiencing back 
when these are first released. It has all of the other series in here that were publishing at the same time as Bleach. So you've got Naruto, One Piece, Bakuman. Obviously, it's all in Japanese. It's really nice to see how so many iconic series were first published in printed form. Everything from like Yu Yu Hakusho, Dragon Ball, Slam Dunk. They all started in the pages of Weekly Shonen Jump before they were collected into manga volumes like you're seeing behind me. Following this, we've got another edition of Weekly Shonen Jump. Now, this was bought from a second-hand Japanese store like Mandarake, and they sealed it there, and I've kept it sealed just to protect it and preserve it, because this edition of Weekly Shonen Jump is from 2004, so from the Soul Society arc, it's in really good condition. I don't want this to be damaged in any way, shape, or form. So the last Weekly Shonen Jump volume that I have is from 2003, and it's from the early portions of the Soul Society arc, when Ichigo, Ganju, and the others break into the Serite for the first time. Again, this is really iconic. It's in good condition, so they've kept it sealed. I don't want to open it. One of the oldest pieces of Bleach memorabilia that I have in my collection. But yeah, that's everything. There was a lot to go through. I just put off this video for so long because I'm nervous to get on camera, but hopefully this is a start of something new for the channel. Again, bear with me because this is the first ever video that I've done like this, where I'm just speaking to the camera, minimal edits, and I've not really got a script to read off of. So it is very nerve wracking, but hopefully you've enjoyed this video. The quality wasn't perfect, but I promise you I am working on it. As always, thank you for making it to the end of this video. Let me know if you've enjoyed this video and you want more on camera videos like this in the future. So thank you for all of your time. I look forward to seeing you all in my next upload. If you enjoy my content, then you can support my channel through Patreon for as little as a dollar a month, or even through YouTube by becoming a channel member. You will gain access to exclusive channel perks and a Discord server which I frequently use. So become a member of my Zero Division and be the first to know about my upcoming videos. And once again, thank you for sticking around till the end of the video, and whatever you contribute will mean a lot to me.